Happy Sunday. I have been just laying around the house and watching football, so it's now time to make something to eat. And I decided I'm going to have some guacamole and some tacos and um, some shrimp tacos and sour cream and all that. So I typically make my own guacamole just cause it tastes better. So I have some avocados that are ripe, some garlic, some cilantro, red onion. I'm also gonna use a little bit of um, red pepper flakes and some lime juice. And that's all I use for my guacamole. It's really easy, um, it's quick. Um, and you can make it how you want. You can make it chunky. Some people like it. Um, I like it chunky. You could also make it like really smooth if that's how you like it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's get into it. All right, so I have taken three avocados and I've taken the seeds out and I have halved them and put them in a bowl along with three cloves of garlic that I've chopped. I'm now in the process of chopping a half of a very small red onion uh, and I'm gonna chop it into, I'm gonna roughly chop it, just kind of make it a little rough. And I'll come back and show you what all that looks like when I get it all in the bowl. All right, so cilantro can be a little bit tricky. There's no measurement to it. So I generally just grab a handful and then I roughly chop it um, just because I like a lot of cilantro. Um, if you don't, just don't use a lot. Um, but to me, you can't really have guacamole without cilantro. So I'm not really sure how you like guacamole if you don't like cilantro, but you know, to each his own. So I'm gonna roughly chop this gar um, garlic, I'm gonna <laughs> roughly chop this cilantro and toss it in the bowl. So I'm not really supposed to have um, red pepper flakes just because I'm allergic to um, nightshades. And you know, it. my eyes get a little itchy or whatever, but everything that tastes good has a little bit of heat. So, and guacamole is no exception. So I'm actually gonna use a uh, one fourth of a teaspoon of a little bit of red pepper flakes. Probably won't use the whole fourth of a teaspoon, but I am gonna use some. And then I'm also, to make it all kind of wet, I am going to take a half of a lime and start just with a half of a lime and squeeze over all of my contents. So notice I have my cilantro, my red onion, my garlic is underneath there, the red paper flakes, and then my avocados are there. And it's ready for me to mix. Just gonna take a really good fork and start mushing it all together. You can slice into it. Again, I like mine a little bit chunky, where some people like it smooth. Takes a little bit of time, just work with it. And if you find that it's not wet enough, you can add some more lime juice. And I think I'm gonna do that. Just a little bit. Ah, forgot one important ingredient which is salt. Definitely want salt. Uh, 
All right. So this is about the consistency that I like my guacamole. Um, you may like yours a little bit smoother. I like mine to have some chunks in it. And I have guacamole. Very simple, very easy. Let's see. And it's perfect. I'm not getting another fork because it's just me in this house. You have other people, get another fork. And you know, if you need to add more salt, if you need to do anything else, um, get another fork. But mine is perfect. It's very simple and it's gonna be really good on my tacos, which I'm going to make next. Talk to you soon.